Once upon a time, there was a kingdom where everyone lived happy, peaceful lives. However, this kingdom lost its king. He committed a terrible crime by stealing all the world's words and abandoning his subjects. He then hurled himself into the seemingly bottomless depths of the abyss. After that, no one ever saw him again. His daughter, the princess, mourned her father with an endless flood of tears. She cried and cried for 100 years straight until her tears had encased her in a beautiful crystal teardrop. Many moons passed. Long after people's memories of the abyss had grown dim, seven rainbow-colored lights flew from its mouth. Some time later, seven travelers arrived one by one at the great crystal by the edge of the abyss. And there, they miraculously heard a voice, the princess's voice, as she began to call out to them. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? My chosen ones. I beg you, please grant my wish. My seven champions guided here by blessed light. Behold, the yawning mouth of the abyss. The king is somewhere deep within its depths. You must brave the darkness below and find him. The abyss is brimming with malice. It seems to have refused you. With this, you may enter the abyss. However, only one person can use its power at a time. Now, who among you will be the first to brave the abyss? So this is the inside of the abyss. I'm afraid I cannot see much, only what little the light illuminates. But in the shadows it cannot reach. So this... picked up. I sense that it contains memories of a weapon. Perhaps with the right materials, you can restore its original form. I will ponder this matter and think of a way.
my... That was too close for comfort. What a powerful monster. Huh? That crystal is a fragment of my tears. I found one even faster than I'd hoped. This will come in handy. Use it to summon another hero to take your place. Or even return to the surface. Go on. Hold out your hand before it and see for yourself. That's it. Now, think about going home. Embrace that feeling. You can trade places with your companions here. But I'd like to show you something else right now. So, please choose Return. to express myself properly at times. Conveying your true feelings can be hard. surprise you? I borrowed a bit of your strength and made some facilities to support your expeditions. I hope you like them. Remember the item you found? The one which held the memory of a weapon? Bring that memento to the forge. You can make weapons with it there. Now then, you'll need materials in order to make weapons. So let's visit the workshop. To make weapons and such, you need wood, stone, and various other materials. But logs alone won't help much. So you can use the workshop to make lumber. Try turning a log into lumber. There. Now you've got the ball rolling. Unfortunately, it won't be ready for some time. Oh! But before I explain how, we should start a few things at the other facilities first. All right, let's visit the atelier next. You can use this facility to turn raw stone into material stone for crafting. Follow the same steps as before to start the process. Wow! You already have the hang of this! Wonderful! Now you've made all your requests. As I'm sure you've already noticed, they won't be ready for quite some time. Production on your request will continue while you explore the abyss. So let's keep exploring the abyss while we wait. Take care! Huh! 
orders ready to go. Please come. Your orders ready to go. Please come pick it up. Complete. Go see for yourself. You have all the materials you need. You can use them to make a nice weapon. All right, let's go visit the forge. You can revive the faint wisps of memory in a memento to make a weapon. You can also do this to make accessories like rings and earrings. Well, let's try reviving the first memento you found. Success! As you can see, once you have the necessary materials, you can finish your requests at facilities like the forge and kitchen in a flash. You can equip weapons you receive at the storehouse. Let's go there next. downright dashing if I do say so myself. If you keep making weapons, you'll only grow stronger from here on out. This is but one method among many to consider. If you want to finish something instantly, you can use an item called Sands of Time. Or just spend lots of runes. You'll need runes to do lots of things, to be honest. So collect as many as you can. You can craft useful items at other places besides the forge, you know? You should try them all out later. Now then. Use all these facilities to create better items until you're strong enough to explore the deepest depths of the abyss. I think this is the start of a wonderful partnership. exactly like the kingdom did over a century ago. But this isn't really the old kingdom, of course. It never existed down here. Somewhere deep within the abyss, someone is trying to recreate it. No, it couldn't be. Surely not. Hit! 
See you soon. Welcome back. You did an excellent job. I'm so impressed. 